Okay, now that we've actually gone through the box, we've shown you everything that you're going to get, we're going to kind of turn it on and go through the initial setup and everything. And I've hooked up an HDMI cable here to the connection, and I think that'll allow us to capture it directly from the device as well. So here we go. We're just going to go ahead and uh, start it up. And uh, NVIDIA Shield logo gives you an idea of what the boot time is going to be like as well. So are we able to see any of this, Ken? There we go. Pretty nice. So get to know my shield. Let's see, this is the NVIDIA button. I think they should just call it the shield button if you ask me. Uh, press to launch shield games, find new games, stream games from your GeForce GTX PC. Press and hold to open the power menu. All right. So uh, volume button, you press that once. Press and hold to mute. Uh, if you press it, it'll actually bring up a context menu. You've got your start button, home button, similar for all Android devices, and the back button for Android devices. Uh, screen selection, uh, Y button brings up the menu, B button is back, A is activate, and the X button is the X button, apparently. And uh, multi-touch display screen, virtual mouse with the right stick, press in, uh, press in or A or the right trigger to click. So there you go. Uh, sure, I'll agree to whatever those terms are. All right. Now, if we'll uh, switch away here as I type in our super secret passwords to our Wi-Fi. Still nothing great about inputting, I guess I can use the touch screen, that would be easier. Inputting data, text, with a controller. Nothing good about that. So let's see, let's set that authenticate. It's gonna connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, and now we're going to let it connect to my Gmail account as well. Uh, and this is this, in theory, allow you to get your email, use it as kind of like a home tablet and computing device in addition to a gaming device, which is kind of nice. So it says I'm signing in. Uh, let's see. I'm sure, all of those things. Yeah, yeah, that's fine too. Great. All right, so there you go. Take this back. Yeah, I know how to use Android, thanks. So there's our home button. This takes you to the Android home now. Uh, you can see they've preloaded Hulu Plus, Twitch TV, a Sonic game, Expendable, Shield Help, Settings. You've got YouTube at the bottom, your, your uh, media players for uh, uh, music and video, and also you've got the Google Play Store, Internet Browser, and I'm guessing that button's going to take you to the Tegra Zone. You can see how it works. Actually, if you look at it, this is the first, is this the first Tegra 4 device actually shipping, so... Uh, in terms of performance, that's actually kind of interesting to, to look at. It seems to control well. Nope. Oh, something downloaded here. Getting emails. All right, so all, that's, all that part seems to work. Uh, let's hit that NVIDIA button again. And this takes you into kind of like the NVIDIA interface where they have preloaded some games, it looks like. Uh, this is also where you would access... Uh, your streaming gaming content from your GeForce PC, uh, they haven't yet provided us with the version of GeForce Experience that's going to actually enable that, so we'll have more video on that soon. Let's, uh, let's try this Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't... We'll see how this works out. Oh, it's going to send out audio through HDMI? That might be... We're probably not going to get it on that then, so let's see. It's either all HDMI or not HDMI, so... Um, audio notwithstanding. The screen looks sharp. It's a, it's a 1280 by 720p screen. Not a super high resolution compared to a lot of uh, uh, displays that are out there on cell phones and tablets today. Uh, but interestingly enough, Actually, here, let's, we'll try to plug in a headphone port here. See if we get anything out of that. 
I don't know, we might be confusing it. Yes, it's okay to raise volumes. Yeah, there we go. You should be getting something on that. Uh, it's a 1280 by 720p screen. It's, it's, it's a good quality screen. It's not the highest resolution out there. But for the distance that this will be from your face, I actually think it's, 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 it's fairly acceptable. Um, you know, most people are not going to be gaming at this close. It's actually kind of hard to see. But if you're gaming at kind of resting arm level, it actually looks really sharp. So let's, uh, let's start a game of this and just play around and see what it is. Now, I, I will admit that the, uh, if we switch back to me, looking at the back of this device with these two cables coming out the back, kind of looks like it defeats the purpose, and I would 100% agree with you. But we're just doing that in order to capture the, uh, the content to show you guys a little bit more easily. So here is Sonic. Well, it's not as I've played a Sonic the Hedgehog game. Uh, buttons, let's see. Well, you really won't do much in a Sonic game in terms of the buttons, still. It's all about learning. I will say that, uh, Analog stick feels good. The control stick is pretty good. Um, the buttons make it maybe a little bit more noise than I would like when you click it. But I don't know what the Xbox controller really handy to see how it compares there. Such as here's the X button, A button. There's a difference in the click to that, isn't there? Yeah. Um, let's see what else do we have? And see, this is uh, what's interesting to think about. So this is, we're playing games on Android. We're not doing PC streaming or anything like that yet. This is a game that you used to have to play on Android with a touch screen. And that doesn't sound very fun. The idea of playing a Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog game with the touchpad, not the best. But with these control sticks, it's actually pretty good. So NVIDIA claims that what they want to do is they want to see the Android market, Android gaming market improve. Uh, obviously, you know, they're, they're pushing controller support with uh, their games, Tegra Zone type games. There we go. I figured that out eventually. But more games are going to have to be able to, to support a controller natively in order for this to really take off. Oh no. So that's Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's, uh, let's see what our experience is like. So that snaps back out pretty quick. Now if I click back in there. Okay, so it kind of pauses it for you. That's good. Let's go back here. What can I lose at? I can probably lose at real boxing pretty easily. And this maybe would be a more graphically impressive title to check out as well. Uh, no thanks. Sure, fight. All that stuff. All right. Disclaimer up front. Never played this game before. Oh, I don't know, but I'm doing awesome. All right, I'm just kidding. Move right, upper stick, left, perform jab. No. Wrong. Wrong. Good. Perfect. Terrible. I'm just looking at this, and what I'm seeing on, your, on the screen that we're sending out is different than what is showing on my screen. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. You guys, I don't know if you guys can kind of see that here. No. It's almost like it's giving you a different Perfect. viewpoint of it. Good. Perfect. Great. All right, I'm getting better at this. Oh, 
Well, that's enough real boxing for now. Oh, with products. So it's kind of interesting. You've got two home menus, essentially. Um, so we need to spend some more time with this. We need to actually download, install, play around with some more Android games here. This is obviously just what you have upon boot up. Uh, so that is our initial overview of NVIDIA Shield. I guess we want to look here. You can see if we're back on the home screen, that actually, okay, so this button actually takes you to the NVIDIA menu if you want to do that for some reason. So we can open up a browser. Um, we can, let's see, let's search for NVIDIA here. Seems, seems snappy. Everything's working pretty quick. All right, go home again. Uh, we can go to Twitch. You can, uh, we can watch some League of Legends on here. Sure. I don't know what's going on in here, but the streaming seems to work well, so that's nice. So that's, other than that, right, you have access to all of your Android applications, access to all your tablets. Like I'm getting notifications right now about emails that I'm getting. All that is the same. Um, so, yeah, it's actually it's going to be really interesting to use this over the next week or two and really see how it can, you know, build into the lifestyle, the gaming lifestyle that we have. Uh, will I game on this more at home? Will the streaming work? Will Android gaming become much more interesting to me now that I have a controller as opposed to having to use virtual thumbsticks on games. It'll be interesting. $299 shipping now-ish or very soon. Uh, this is NVIDIA Shield. Thanks, guys.